Hi, today we're going to measure and adjust the front and the rear wheel alignment on a Triumph Stag. So the useful little gadget that we're going to use is this drive over wheel gauge from uh, Gunson Trackrite. And what that does is measure any pull on the tyres as you drive over it, as you can see. It smoothly is able to move left or right and has a gauge on it that will give us an indication of whether the tyres are pulling due to excess toe in or toe out. So what we do is find a nice level surface like so. Make sure there's no stones or anything underneath it. Make sure it moves smoothly. Put it on zero. Then we drive over it slowly. The advantage of uh, this sort of um, alignment measuring gauge is that the car is sitting completely as it would on the road. There's no jacking up involved or anything. And so the alignment of the wheels is perfectly um, normal and hopefully we'll get a reasonably accurate reading. So for this car, um, the toe-in for both the front and rear is from zero to a small amount of toe-in of I think uh, about 0.8 of a millimetre according to the book. Uh, which is a very small number of degrees uh, so I've measured it um, previously done some adjusting of the uh, rear wheel alignment via some shims and I'm just going to measure it again so we'll just show how that reading goes now so whereas previously we had a little bit of excess uh, toe in now we've got a bit of excess toe out so we've got to remove one of those shims that we put in uh, it's a good idea to measure it uh, several times and to measure both sides. So the way to adjust the rear um, wheel alignment of the trans stag is uh, to jack it up, get it safely supported on some axle stands like so. Perhaps an extra safety precaution, a backup one that's not actually touching the body just in case. And then what actually has to happen is that on this outer bracket you need to um, either remove or insert extra shims in between this piece of metal and the um, subframe part. So you need to slacken off two nuts at the back here, these two nuts here, and three bolts go to the front over here. You may need to support these bolts as well to stop them turning. Uh, you then need to leave this bracket away from the subframe and as I say either insert or remove um, shims. And these are the shims, probably about a millimetre thick or so. A few of them here, you could make up your own so I've traced out the pattern. Uh, could cut a few bits of metal out of some old brackets that I've got. Um, probably not too critical. So uh, I'll also make sure that you uh, do it equally uh, both sides. Um, you can individually measure the wheel alignment on each side and adjust them individually uh, but start off um, doing both the same and then measure it and then adjust individually from there on. So we need a 14mm socket, a uh, torque wrench to get some uh, good torque on it and before you go underneath chock the front wheels as well on both sides. So having well loosened the two nuts at the back you can then lever from the front and hopefully, as you can see there, you've got a lot of space between the uh, rear suspension bracket and the subframe. And here are the shims. And to increase the uh, toe out or to decrease the toe in, as we're going to do here, we put one of our spacers in with that chamfered edge at the top. Need, just need to move out the bottom at the same time and that's a new spacer in and all we've got to do is tighten up the nuts and bolts then and remeasure the tracking. So that's the nuts tightened up again with the new shims in place and we just got to remeasure the rear wheel alignment again. Um, so either a 9 16 socket or a 14 mil socket uh, will fit those nuts. Uh, they're probably Imperial originally. Uh, for one of them I had to use the 916th. And couldn't find the torque setting anywhere in any of the manuals. 
Uh, so I did it to about 50 pound foot, which uh, seems to be about right. So I reshipped it. alignment is just the same it's a lot easier to adjust so let's just check that and there's the result from the front alignment still just about within the okay band but a fraction amount too much towing so we'll do a very small adjustment of that and the way to adjust it is by these uh, steering rod arms and adjusting nuts at the front do it equally both sides so you need to undo the lock nut twist the rod into or out of the track rod end uh, so since we've got a little bit of toe in then we want this bar to go fractionally out of the track rod end to push the front of the tyres uh, a little bit further out we should decrease the toe in of course so first of all we loosen off the lock nut like so then we need to get a little bit of extra toe out so we need to unscrew the steering rod end a few turns we need to do it the same on both sides of the steering rod as well so let's do it about a quarter of a turn first, see what we get. Might want to just turn the steering rod uh, gator around so it doesn't get too twisted. And then we'll do the other end. And having adjusted it, then now the measurement is just fine. Just a very small fraction toe in and within the OK band. Okay, so that's how to check and adjust the steering uh, toe in, toe out, steering alignment, and the rear suspension alignment on the Triumph Stag. Uh, so if you look in the description, I'll try and put in some links for where to buy that Gunson track right. Not too expensive, and over time, a lot cheaper than taking it to a garage to get it done. Okay, good luck with yours and thanks for watching. Bye.